Hey guys, Azure Lapatin here, how you doing? I'm finally, finally, finally ready for this road trip. Uh, there's been a few changes, obviously. I got a whole lot more crap. <laughs> That's to start with. Uh, some fellas out in Halifax asked me for a bunch of parts and Montreal too. So I'm towing a trailer now. That's got Honda Element SC seats all uh, wrapped up underneath. And on a route, I will be picking up from another donor car of mine the rest of the black panels. We do a full black conversion and have our buddy in Montreal. That thing up there, got a cheap bunk of GG. It's full of parts right now. My gas, my propane. Everything's done up on this car over the past uh, week and a half or so. A little by little here and there, I've done both ball joints, brakes in the back, one caliper in the front was leaking. I uh, modded the front end, so now we got Jeep Creole fog lights with DRLs and turn signals, much clearer lenses with LED, 20,000 lumen LEDs that actually fit perfectly in the boots that are provided with this car. You got a curved light bar and a billet grill in the back. Turns out AC's not working, but uh, leaving in the middle of September for Atlantic Ocean, man, I think it'll be okay. Don't need AC out there. I did my adjustable control arms in the back. Got everything up on the roof, my bat wing awning. I've done bug nets. I'll show you them in action here. Voila. So let's magnet underneath with an adhesive back. And that helps to actually lay the fabric down. And after that, I double down on some duct tape and make sure it doesn't come off because magnet's not perfect, neither is the adhesive. This was a bit of a hodgepodge mess, but it worked out uh, since it's a much bigger window and not as flexible fabric. Couldn't want to find one as big as the other one. I actually uh, pulled on the adhesive a lot more than I wanted it to. But, oh well. So we got that. Uh, let's see. Original trailer wires were set up. SC taillights. Now I've got my window covers. They're all on uh, Velcro. I like them pressed up right against the window. If I have them right up against the door like that, then uh, it's just going to feel like a smaller space inside. So, also got front sides. The sides actually clip in with those buttons right there. And up here on the actual cover is magnets. So, that's a lot easier to handle the fronts than the backs. The backs, you do have to put double side Velcro on there. Let's check out the front, see how that looks like. Here's the whole thing all in action. It's not as bright right now, but at night it sure is. I really like the lights all coming out white everywhere. Now we can also do... Let's see what it'll look like. Now those. It's an American car, so I don't have DRLs. And I just tried to have it, tried to wire it up so it does. Do a few tricks here and there, but just kept shorting out, so I said, screw it. And I got right there. Those are brighter than the stock DRLs on the Honda Element anyway, so. Hoping it's points for effort. Technically, you're supposed to actually do the originals, but it's more like... Let's hope nobody has issue with that. And also, it has turn signals on there, too. They're less than 100 bucks on eBay. The bracket isn't a perfect, uh, perfect fit for the bumper, but it's pretty damn close. Very little modification needed to be done to make that fit, so I'm quite happy with that. And a light bar, 30 inch OELED, something like that, OLED, fits right in there. And then I just cut a few small holes. Bingo, bango. Let's see the inside. I prefer. To sleep in the back on the floor. So the way I have it set up once this tire bump is out of the way, I'll put it somewhere else. That goes down flat. That is actually out of the way. I like having my headspace. So memory foam mattress with pad underneath. That way you don't feel the bottom ever. And that's damn comfy. A few parts hanging around here too. Those gotta get dropped off so it's a little crowded right now. This thing is actually a boat chair and what it does it clicks in different angles so you can actually sit up the body weight holds it so it doesn't flip back or nothing you can watch tv and stuff oh why not 
Let's go around in the back. Ta-da! So I had to change up my setup from last time. I do like my totes. I like being able to take my stuff out. I'm not into having stationary permanent kits in here. They're too heavy. So this tote right here, I used to have two of them. Now I only have one because, like I said, the front chairs, you know, I actually don't move up as much as the older models. So I wasn't able to make them fit. So I got a small one. That's okay. All that's holding is all of my tools anyways. I don't need to access it regularly, hopefully. So here's my little clip-on device. It's easier with two hands, but I'm busy. Got my water in here. A little drone. Old 2009 MacBook. Just odds and ends. Pots and such. Here's sink. Underneath is all my food fishing bag that right there is actually a portable shower like it has a submersible pump you dunk it in there and you can hang it hanging up wherever you want and take a shower outside your car if the lake is not available I'm actually gonna use that mostly for washing dishes and be a lot better and taking this thing out every time I'll just dunk the pump in there and pull it out voila oh and I also got that right there that's why I have the propane can on the roof it's not because that element that runs on propane that unfortunately is not ready and it had to be put away it needed the toe just bolts bushings and whatnot extracted out of the back they're so rusted in there the only way i can see doing that is cutting the control arm and if i'm at that point i might as well start replacing the entire bottom end so that got put away i didn't have time to do that i didn't want to pay somebody to do that anyways that's my roof system basically my closet all it is is a couple of cargo nets and a bunch of bungee cords and one ratchet strap all the way across and one thing from Amazon. The other one broke where I had it, so I have one left and it's working perfectly. Not always for now to hold. Oh, and down here, I'll show you why I prefer to have little totes. Because at the end of the day, it's an old car, it doesn't matter how much you maintain it, things can still happen. I like to be prepared. Plus, I do work all on the way, right? I'm a mobile mechanic. I provide parts, get parts, do modifications. So I got a whole bunch of different tools. You can do ball joints and everything. Heck, I can do major engine work. So I'm not gonna go through what's in there, but there's a lot of stuff in there. And voila. Everything goes right back in. On the other side. Got a few cameras in the bag. My backpack, I love having an external frame backpack. It's my favorite one. It just sits right there on top of the headrest. And a few bungee cords hold the bottom of the frame up against the ratchet strap up there. A booster pack, and a small booster pack. Big jobs, little jobs. Big jobs, little jobs. And yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. So we're set. I didn't have time to do the handle mod or anything, so I just drilled a few holes real quick, ran a few lines through. We got lock, unlock. And that, when I pull on it, opens the handle. Simple as that. Don't have to do any crazy modifications. And then I have these anchored in the actual metal section of the hatch. And you can close it. When you're in there there we go so there's a few changes to the plans i don't know exactly how long of that road trip i'll be able to do because at the end of the day going it's going to get colder as i go and i'm already taking a chance with the weather up in labrador end of september early august early october can't imagine what it'll be like on the dumpster highway so and also uh some good news my grandma finally coming over here from poland she escaped Ukraine and been there since, well, for a while now, uh, at least maybe half a year. She's coming on uh, end, end of September, and she's going to wait for me here for a little bit. I'm going to come back, I'm going to pick her up, and we're going to go to the Rockies together. So that'll be the trip there. For now, it's Nova Scotia, and hopefully I can make it to Newfoundland and go all the way around. All right, guys, let's see the road.